we will discuss comparison between B.O. Sawa's law and Coulomb's law. B.O. Sawa was greatly impressed by Coulomb. So, uh, he took some point from the Coulomb, but there were some differences also. So, what are the similarities? Number one, both are long range laws. Magnetic field at any distance you will find and electric field also you will find at any distance because of the source. These are known as long range. Applicability at the long range. Both are like that. Then both follow inverse square law. Both are proportionate to 1 upon r square. Both are proportionate to 1 upon r square E as well as B. So both follow inverse square law. And the third similarity is they follow superposition laws. At one point two electric field they are allowed to be added. Algebraic addition or vector addition. In magnetic field at one point there are two magnetic field due to two sources. It is allowed to make their vector additions because they are vector. So both follow superposition laws. These are the three basic similarities between Coulomb and Biosawa's law. Then there are dissimilarities, differences. The source of electric field is electric charge which is a scalar quantity but the source of magnetic field is IDL. This is a vector quantity because DL has got a particular direction. Okay, remember this. So, this has got a particular direction. So, this is a vector quantity. So, source for B is a vector quantity. Source for E is a scalar quantity. Then, electric field act along R. If this is charge Q, this is the distance R, then the direction of electric field at this point is either this way or this way, but it is always along the R. But in magnetic field, we have seen that this is inside it. That is perpendicular to R. This is along the R. This is the difference. E acts along R. B acts normal to R. Then third difference is E is independent of the angle. E, there is no sine theta. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square. No theta mentioned here. And theta cannot be there because q is a point charge. Here dl is not a point. It has got a particular length and this r and this theta and theta is effective. I dl sin theta upon r square. Now, here theta has effect. This is the difference. B depends upon angle. E is independent of the angle. So you must remember these are the three differences between the two.